Right. <laughs> I've just listened to Garage Band Superstar for the first time. I think I need a minute. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I've had a minute and this is my review. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, uh, but I am back. And this week I'm going to be showing my thoughts on Lauren Hibbard's debut album called Garage Band Superstar. It's an album I was really looking forward to. And I hope you can tell from the video that I showed at the beginning that it did not disappoint at all. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. I just want to make a quick note that if I look like I'm not looking at you, I can assure you, you have my full attention. It's just I'm filming this on an iPhone and the camera itself is there, I think. Am I looking at you now? I don't know. Um, but if I'm looking over here, uh, I am genuinely interested in what I'm saying. I just don't know where the camera is. <laughs> so to start off the review, I figured it would be fair to give a little introduction to Lauren Hibbert, to people who may not have come across her before. So she's a singer from the Isle of Wight whose brand of pop involves indie, rock, pop punk, and she combines it with this uh, infectious energy and some of the funniest lyrics in pop music right now. Um, I've been a big fan of her since I first heard the song Boy Bye in 2020 and um, I've been really looking forward to this album since it was announced back in February or March. Um, I'd urge everybody to, to listen to some of her older discography because um, for example the Goober EP is, is fantastic and um, it'll give you a good in intro to the sound and, and also show you maybe how interesting this album is compared to the previous stuff because this is without doubt an evolution of Lauren's sound. Um, so yeah, go and check her out and then come back to this. <laughs> so we kick off the record with Roller Coaster and from the off, this is indisputable. It's a rock record. The elements of modern rock in Roller Coaster really shine through and it reminds me of bands such as Calva Louise and it definitely, definitely shows off the fact that Larry Hibbert is producing an absolute legend of, of rock production. And um, it sort of made me think immediately like the singles for this album were so well chosen because it showed us the it showed us a mature version of what we'd heard before it was more polished it was better sounding um, they were great great songs genuinely great songs and the singles on here work they're, they're brilliant but what Roller Coaster does great as the opening track is it shows us something bold and different and surprising. And that's what you want from an album. You want it to stand apart from the singles as its own work. Um, and this one reminds us that this is Garage Band Superstar. This is the album. This is a big deal. And it's the start of something new for Lauren Hibbard. I think it's a great opening track. And then we move into the second track, still running 5k, featuring DJ Lethal. This is an utter banger and you can tell why it's the lead single. It's absolute energy just shines through. The rap rock vibe's really cool and the little flourishes from DJ Lethal's decks are, are super fun. Um, I think one of my favourite bits on this track um, is the first, like, pre-chorus I guess or maybe it's the chorus actually where it goes all my friends have moved away and in the background you hear this sort of synth line and and these like high-pitched key sounds and it sounds to me like um, the music that they sort of pipe into the train stations <laughs> like it sounds that atmospheric the 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 reverb and it makes you feel like you're sat in a railway station or any, any sort of transport hub watching the world go by and it really really works for the lyric the 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 intention of the lyric which is that all of her friends have moved away and they're doing different things and she feels like she's stagnating and doing the same thing every day um that's just some brilliant brilliant word painting and and it and it shows the attention to detail from Lauren and Larry and everyone that went into making the album because 
it's little moments like that that just make you sort of stop and think and and just smile i really love that track and um it's a sign of what's yet to come the next two tracks are stepmom and average joe and by this point we're absolutely flying with three four tracks in every track is breakneck speed it's energetic if you haven't heard it yet just wait for a moment about a minute in where average joe just explodes it's brilliant and it's it's a credit to to the production because it just kills <laughs> i think i screamed when i first heard it that's a bit sad to admit, isn't it, really? But anyway, I'm becoming increasingly conscious of the fact that I have nothing bad to say about this album, but I literally don't. I, I literally don't. Um, and I'm going to emphasise this fact um, when I talk about the next track, Hot Boys, by just reading out my, my thoughts. I was taking notes, like a saddo, as I was listening to the album for the first time, and I'm just going to read you out what I wrote down when I was listening to Hot Boys for the first time. Okay, <clears throat> I am reading this time, so it's over here. Already, I have doubled over five times with utter unbridled joy and laughter at the sound of this record. I want to scream and cry and laugh and dance all at once. I've never known a set of songs to be so utterly balanced between heaviness and bite and light-hearted pop melodies full of fun and excitement. Five songs in, this might be one of my favourite albums. Dot, dot, dot. Maybe I should wait, but ever? These songs have such pure, pure rock influence, pure um, energy and bite and genuine grunge um, from, the, from the guitars, but then the melodies and the um, delivery of the lines from Lauren is so... Um, joyful and poppy and I, I I was struggling to compute how good this record is this is a debut album and the sound is so unique anyway we'll move on <laughs> so the next tracks are that was a joke and get some and that was a joke um, comes directly after hot boys it is probably one of the best choruses on the album and the riff is really really cool the there's 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 a playfulness to it but it, it hits hard um get some is also great the the sort of vocal reverb on the chorus sounds a bit like a call to action it makes lauren sound like like a powerful a powerful person with something to say and i really love that about that track I guess that feeling of kind of importance and power really does carry over um, sentiment-wise and feeling-wise into the next track, which is Garage Band Superstar. It's the big one. It's the title track of the album. And what a title track it is. Um, this is a song about uh, Lauren dealing with a, a level of visibility and, and fame that she'd not experienced before. How that fame and people knowing her translates into relationships and her own self-perception. And... She's doing it next to one of the best bands of the genre. It it feels very surreal, but it also feels right. Um, this is Lauren at superstar heights, exuding confidence. And we kind of carry that heightened reality, that heightened persona into the next track, Hole in the Head. A lot of people have said it's their favourite track on the album, and you can definitely tell why. There's a swagger and an energy to it. Um, you think you're better than me? we'll see there's that there's that confidence and that that bite but definitely that character in this in this song and and you know what a, what a great chorus it's it's got this rock drive and it just makes you want to head back it's really great and then we move out of this uh, persona led um sort of heightened s stage of the album into i'm insecure which definitely has the fun and the energy of the previous tracks but it brings the album back to a grounded level. It confirms that the garage band superstar identity is is um, ironic, and and it's a way of Lauren to take personal experiences and turn them into these massive, amazing rock songs. I think that's what I love about Lauren's music, as opposed to some of some other rock bands there's none of the bullshittery in the in the lyrics there's not like this testosterone fueled macho-ness 
it's it's self-aware and it doesn't take itself too seriously i think that's what's so endearing about the character and about the persona of of lauren hibbard because you feel like you know you could be like that you you feel like it could be your story this in this massive amazing rock song but anyway that's deep diving into the ideology of garage band superstar <laughs> and uh we better walk away from that because because this is this is an album review um not a <laughs> not a character uh, character profile but the next track is called slimming down and for the first time in nearly 10 tracks it's the first time the album lets up uh it's a slow guitar led um, vocal led um, track um, and I'm going to be honest it made me want to cry because I think because it's the first release from the relentlessness of the rock vibe and you need that on an album I love a slow track on an album towards the end of an album particularly because it just gives you time to breathe and reflect upon the experiences but also it's a beautiful track there's some really gorgeous synth lines in there um particularly in like the second or third verse i, I think um it's a it's a great track and sadly it's the penultimate one because next we go to last song ever i hope it's not the last song lauren hibbert ever releases but um it's in my mind the perfect album closer it, it starts slow with this riff on guitar which i was playing earlier and it builds before you get a sort of day in the life moment you know from the beatles with the, the strings like going up and then it becomes like this queeny kind of musy ballad and and it's it's so great and so brave for a debut album it's an epic closer and the confidence in this album is absolutely plain to see. The little see you later at the end as well. It's like, I've put all my heart and soul into this album, but this is only the beginning. And I love that about this track. It's the perfect album closer. So after that rather gushing review from me there, I guess I'll wrap up. Uh, there's so much self-awareness in the songs that it could implode in a in a typhoon of meta, but it, but it just doesn't because the sarcasm and the sort of ego in the songs, the the persona in the songs is counteracted, and, and the irony is counteracted by really great songs and genuine like star power. Um, the features by DJ Lethal of Lit, of Limp Biscuit and and uh, Wheatus they speak for themselves like it's insane but it works because lauren hibbard and these artists are on a level musically um they may not be the mo like the same notoriety or whatever but they work together and the songs don't sound like um somebody has been parachuted in for a feature it it, it feels right and the fact that lauren i uh, you know in previous interviews has said yeah, I, I actually reached out to them and they said yes. It makes sense to me because they are very much Lauren Hibbard songs with the feature. And I think that's what makes it Garage Band Superstar. It's a relentless album. It really, really is. But then it's reflective and it's gentle and it's vulnerable. It's all I wanted and more really from this album. After waiting for a long time, um, it, it's perfect. And, and as we now know, this is a debut album she's only going to get better how exciting is that that this album is the start of a career i don't know about you but i'm pretty excited for that i guess i better give it a rating then unsurprisingly i'm gonna go for five stars out of five it's a great album <laughs> that rating was never gonna be any different let's face it you've watched this whole video hopefully um to arrive at a foregone conclusion i apologize for that I hope you found it interesting. If you haven't heard the album, go and listen to it. But for now, I will say goodbye. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you just found my channel, please consider subscribing because it will really help. And I will be back soon. I'm going to end the video um, in a bit of a different way. I'm going to play you a song from Lauren Hibbert's album. So coming up is my cover of I'm Insecure. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you soon. You know he plays a gold top. You know I have a gold top
in my wardrobe You think he likes it real hot Well I think I got a couple cronies in my cool box Now he's poking up in my business Tell me what's on your Amazon wish list Locked in the bathroom, feeling kinda seasick No service, does my butt look big in this? You rock the boat, now the kitchen is shaking I should've listened to the trip advisor rating It's your fault that my tummy started aching What the hell am I saying? I'm insecure I wanna go home I got a bad case of imposter syndrome I'm insecure What a big fat news The damage is I'm insecure